unfortunate to see. People just don't respect history. Not only just history, but what's not theirs. I wonder what the real purpose of a covered bridge was back in the day when they first were making these. I guess maybe because they were the wagons, maybe a place along the trail to dry off, maybe get out of some of the wind. I don't really know. <laughs> sure wish I had my pole and the time to check it out. There's some nice little trout in this, this little creek. If I can get to the sides of the wood, but it's people's property here, so I definitely don't want to go invading people's space or property. So this is something I'm going to start trying to do. Take advantage of the fact of what my job is. The benefits of it is that you get to travel the nation. To see a lot of these things that a lot of people just don't get to. Now, although I only have a few minutes, it's a 10 minute stop out of my way. Um, I get to see a an old bridge here that was built in the 1800s. It was rebuilt in the 60s. See a very peaceful creek right here. Eventually, I'll have my pole with me. I've since learned that, you know, 10, 12, 15 bucks, I can uh, go online with my phone and just uh, purchase a, a one-day fishing license. And, you know, if I've got a few hours... Why not drop a line in a little creek like this? How neat would that be? A lot of benefits to what I do. Right now, I'm a little homesick, I'll be honest. I've been out, it's uh, February 21st. I left home on December 31st. Been away from the wife and my pup. They're going on two months. It's, it's too long. But I get to go home for my birthday next week. See my lady, my pooch. 
One thing we're looking forward to is eventually she's going to be coming out with me. And we'll be able to hit, stop and hit some of these things like this together. If we have more time. You know, on that side, it doesn't look like it's anybody's property. Nothing marked. Um, a little warmer weather, be able to go down and picnic and fishing together or whatever. So I'm going to start doing is, is getting a little bit more film about these things, doing a little research on them. And at some point in this video, you'll see that you'll hear me talk about this, this covered bridge, the history behind it, where it's located. I hope you enjoy. i try to share a little bit more of this with y'all. Uh, kind of show my appreciation of you checking out my channel and um, living this coolness through me. Hopefully you guys can get out in one form or another. Check out your local areas. I guarantee there's there's little spots around that would be kind of neat to check out. Throw it on film. Let's see. But y'all, I, I need to get going. I'm on a 350 mile deadhead going to uh, New York to recover a load that somebody else has lost somehow or another, whether it's a breakdown or something with the driver. Or I'm not sure what happened, but they're paying me to go get it. And then I'm going to run it down from, uh, I think it's Jamestown, New York, going down to uh, South Carolina. So I need to get back on the road and uh, hit it up. Y'all take it easy. And uh, again, thanks a lot for uh, checking uh, checking out what I'm doing. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. You know anybody else that uh, digs this kind of stuff? Has a goofy sense of humor that might dig me. <laughs> or my stupidity. Um, share it with them. I'll talk to you later. And uh, have fun. Don't forget. Have fun and uh, make somebody else smile. It's pretty cool. Later.